All right, continuing on in the end times, uh, Matthew 24. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in secret chambers, believe it not. For there, for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. In other words, you don't have, somebody doesn't have to say, oh, Jesus is over there around the corner. <laughs> when you see him, everybody will see him. For whosoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together immediately after the tribulation of those days, which is for the church, by the way. Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. That's why James Bond had a movie called Skyfall. Because <laughs> um, 007 is about the seven kings of Babylon. That reminds me. Sorry about that. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, excuse me, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn the parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. I think what the, that's a very difficult one. Let's check it out. There are 14 sets and 14 sets and 14 sets. 14 different sets of generations. Oh, I know why. My bad. I'll put in Revelation and it's for Matthew. It's a Matthew Revelation study. And I put the wrong one in there. The 14 generations, the 14 generations, and the 14 generations in Matthew. Abraham to David are 14, and from David until the carrying into Babylon are 14. And from the carrying into Babylon unto Christ are the are the 14 generations. So he's talking about that generation, if you know what I'm saying. Men of the same stock, a family, several ranks, metaphor, group of men, whole number, multitude of living at the same time, and age. That's it right there, it's the age. That's what it is. Yeah, so anyway, it's the 14, you know, you look it up, it says an age. And then they say, you know, like a space of 30, 30. No, it's an age of time. It says right there, it referred to them as the generations from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ. He's, the Lord's talking about that generation. That's what he's talking about.
Let's move over to Revelation, please. And I looked and behold, a white cloud. How in the world are we keep running over the same Bible verses in two different studies? It didn't say he's coming in a cloud in this one. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall the tribes of them mourn. And the Son of Man comes in the clouds. It did say clouds. Unbelievable. It's happening again. It's happening again. I had to go back and forth between Daniel and Revelation. And it just randomly mixed again. I just, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just can't believe it. I can believe it. I can believe it. And I looked and behold, a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man, having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is come for thee to reap for the harvest of the earth is ripe and he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth and the earth was reaped <clears throat> now this and another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven he also having a sharp sickle and another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire and cried with a loud voice to him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine for the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. And the wine press was trodden without the city and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. This might be when the humans actually die. The fallen angels will not. It's very difficult to say when the human host dies off inside the body that has become possessed. It's very difficult. Anyway, love you very much. Ask questions anytime.